Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Tundra Limited. Now the most suitable features on this Limited is its power moonroof. You also have your navigation system and your blind spot monitoring. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota Tundra Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then taking a closer look just at the front bumper you're going to see your plug-in block heater. You'll also see your parking sensors and over on the side you have your 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have the foldable mirrors, heated mirrors and then on the inside you'll see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with your blind spot monitoring indicator, it'll actually light up just learning that there is another vehicle right beside you. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is magnetic gray. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you'll see the wood grain trim on the inside here along with your mirror controls. You have your automatic headlights and open and close for your power rear window. On the inside of your driver's side door you have your window locks, power locks and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your seek function, volume control, voice recognition mode select, Bluetooth, scroll function for your multi-informational display with your display settings and your lane departure alert and cruise control. Now, taking a look just at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different options on here. So if we scroll through here, as you can see, you have your speedometer with the distance to empty, but you can also see your average fuel economy in here. You can also go through the navigation, audio, lane departure alert with your tire pressure monitoring, trailer brake, messages, and then in your settings menu, you'll see your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, as well as the blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, and a couple of other additional features. Now at the very top of the page, you'll see the exterior temperature gauge, and just below on your left hand side, you have your parking sensors on and off, traction control, tow haul, and your trailer brake. Taking a look on the inside here, of the center dash as well as the touch panel display you'll see your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features you have the xm satellite radio 4x4 select hazard lights dual zone climate control settings heated seat controls for your driver and passenger with three different settings depending on how hot you would like it underneath you'll see the two power outlets as well as your usb and auxiliary input matted to an automatic transmission and if we take a look just at the very top here you're going to see your auto dimming rear view mirror with your integrated garage door opener controls and your open and close and tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof with your sunglass case holder and I'm just going to throw this into reverse just so I can show you what the backup camera looks like but as you can see you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you try to back into a stall or if you're trying to hook up your trailer Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper. You're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. The other nice thing is it's a three-piece bumper, so in the event that you damage the one section, you just have to replace the one segment. You have your connectors for your towing, spare tire located just underneath your rear bumper, and then on the back of the tailgate, you have your backup camera as well as the lock for the tailgate. Now, I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. As you can see, you have the bed rail system in the back here, so the nice thing with the bed rail system is you can readjust the cleats that you see on either side there, place them all on one side of the bed rail system, or take them out altogether, just depending on what your needs are for. Now, over on your left, right, front, and back side, you're going to see a couple of areas where you can tie down some loose cargo, just so it's not shifting around in the back while you're driving. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comments section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.